Henry Hill became the most notorious mafia turncoat of all time when he was played by Ray Liotta in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. It didn't mean anything. When I was broke, I would go out and rob some more. We ran everything. We paid off cops, we paid off lawyers, we paid off judges. Everybody had their hands out. Everything was for the taking. Growing up in Brooklyn in the 50s, young Henry wanted to be just like the neighbors, the Lucchese crime family. I know I'd go from rags to riches. Mob boss Paul Vario took Henry under his wing. Working his way into the Mafia's top ranks, Henry lived the quintessential gangster life for nearly 30 years. The money was very, very tempting and intoxicating for me. And, you know, I did a lot of things that, uh, that a normal person wouldn't do. But I wasn't a normal person. I was part of that life. In 1980, Henry was busted by the FBI on drug charges. Worried he'd sing like a canary, Henry's mob buddies made him a marked man. When it came down to it, when it came down to my family's life or my life, we had to come first. So Henry ratted on his former associates. In exchange for his testimony, he was granted immunity and disappeared into the FBI's witness protection program. Any horses coming? Forget about keeping a low profile, he's at the track. The smell of horse in the afternoon, I love it. After years underground, Henry's out of witness protection and off to the races. With his mob days long gone, Henry's got a new wife and a whole new line of work. I work in the industry, whatever that is, I, you know, <laughs> the entertainment industry, I guess. I got a travel guide, a good fellow travel guide coming out. We're working on a reality TV show. We just done a short, a movie. I mean, it's a totally different life. I'll tell you, there's some sharks in, in, uh, in Hollywood. They're as bad as the crew that I left. He's also written a cookbook. Let's heat the sauce up. A collection of recipes from my family, uh, from wise guys. Uh, I swear to God, you ain't gonna get a hard burn with my sauce. I got some nice uh, angel hair coming out. And it's got stories. You know, it's got a lot of stories where good fellas left off. Like the gravy for the duck, and that's it. Uh -huh. Complete. Two decades after running cons and busting heads, Henry's not making any excuses for his old life. I grew up in that lifestyle. I mean, I knew nothing but being a scumbag. I mean, that's what I was. And we brutalized people, and we took what we wanted. Ah! We considered ourselves wise guys. You know, the boss was a good fellow. To show any signs of weakness, you get buried in a hole somewhere in the ground. It's a miserable existence, that world. This former mobster puts his money where his mouth is, counseling criminals and drug addicts at a local Jewish rehab center. I do counseling one-on-one. -on -one. All I can say is that uh, you don't have to do it the way I did it. Henry's own inspiration came from an unlikely source. The man that's made me who I am today. I'm we only responsible for the good things that you do. Okay, he's my role model, this guy. And that's what we help people do. We help them find their soul so that they don't have to live somebody else's script anymore. Just want to, you know, want to show the kids out there that, you know, you can't make something out of your life. Henry's not taking his new life for granted. Every day I wake up, I hit the lottery. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be uh, sitting talking to you guys. Uh, I was given a second chance and, uh, Thank God I was. Yeah.